Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Levant M210 Home Robot, or the Robotic Vacuum as some people call it. And what I want to do today is to show you around the vacuum, some of the features and benefits that it offers. Also get it all set up, have a good demonstration of it. But all I'd normally say, just before we start, is please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up before we start. What I do is I talk about mainly vacuum cleaners. Uh, I'll talk about household appliances, there's normally a bit of tech in there as well. So just give us a quick subscribe, then we'll make a start. So now that I've got everything unboxed, this is the vacuum itself. And I must say, first impressions, I'm really impressed. Uh, I do like the, the matte finish of it. Um, in all my years of doing YouTube videos, uh, which is probably running into about six or seven years now, I must admit, I've never actually reviewed a robotic vacuum. Uh, we have sold them in our store over the, the, I suppose, the last sort of three or four years, but for some reason, I've never talked about a robotic vacuum, and I'm not sure why. Uh, so this is the, as I say, the Lafont M210. Uh, this brand, I have kept an eye for a while, and I must admit, they do quite a large range of, of vacuums. So if you are looking at purchasing a robotic vacuum, then there are quite a few things to consider. Uh, I suppose the first thing is the size of it. So on this particular one, you're looking at around 28 centimeters wide or 11 inches, uh, and it's around three, just over three inches high or around eight centimeters. And that's quite important, I suppose, for some people, if you want it to vacuum under, say, under beds or under furniture, then especially the height of it could be quite an important factor. Um, also, depending on the, the width of it, and the, I suppose the reason I mentioned that, if you have got chairs with, uh, say, if the legs are a certain distance apart, then this should have the ability to go in between the legs as long as it can physically fit through. So that's probably one thing to consider before buying one of these. So when you first unbox it, it did have a sticker on the front of this. I'll just show you that. So it's more of a, an information sticker. Um, what that's telling us is that uh, first of all, we just need to remove the protective film that was on the, the vacuum itself. Uh, just install the side brushes. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Uh, you've got the, the docking station, uh, and then you've got the on and off switch. And then what it's recommending is to download an app. Now that's something that, to be fair, I have already done it. I've already set it up and I've linked it with a vacuum. Uh, that was quite an easy process to do, actually. I've, I will give you a, more of a demonstration of that in a moment. And it's something I recommend doing, so if you have got one of these and you're going through the setup process at the moment, download the app, so use the QR code that's on there. One of the first things we need to do is put on the side brushes. So these are the side brushes, uh, these will rotate, and what you get, you actually get four of these with it, so you don't just get the two, uh, which I always think is really good, because I suppose over time they will wear out, so all you need to do is just clip those into place, just get one of the other ones, just show you that. So you've got the left and right, and just clip that one into place. So as far as the vacuum itself, that's pretty much done. When it comes to charging it, you do get the charging dock. Now that's it. So all you need to do is you just need to make sure that that's fairly near to a main socket. Clearly it has to be on the floor to, to I suppose, for it to work properly. There's no point having it on the desk or on a table. Uh, you can do, but it sort of defeats the object because what this has, it has the ability to actually go back to the docking station and to recharge when the battery is nearly flat. As far as the underside of the vacuum, you've got two rubber wheels at the back and you've got the single rubber tracking wheel at the front. Uh, I'm really glad they've gone with rubber. Uh, I, I personally think it, it makes it a lot quieter, so if it's on a hard surface, say a, a wooden or laminate floor, especially if you're in, say, a block of flats or an apartment, uh, if you've got people underneath you where you're going to have this running, uh, then at least having the rubber wheels will make it a lot quieter. And on the front here, uh, you've just got the on and off button, but just on the inside, you have got a flap. So as we open the flap, you've got this cheeky little bin that you take out. And as far as the bin, so the bin capacity is half a litre. And I know it might not sound a huge amount, but if you compare that to a lot of other cordless vacuums, uh, then that is actually a really good size bin. Uh, I have seen some other robotic vacuums of a similar size where the bins are tiny and all you're doing is you're just forever emptying it. And I suppose the whole idea of this is you can actually set it to run when you're not there. That's a huge advantage of this kind of design of vacuum, uh, that if you can set it to run when you're not there, 
then what you don't want to be doing is to be is to come back and it's done half the room because the bin's full. So at least having a good size bin is a real advantage. On the top here, again, you've got the QR code, so it's recommended that you download the app. Uh, and what you can do is you can actually open the front there. So when it comes to emptying the bin, that's nice and easy. Uh, you've also got the filter on the front. Now, with this filter, they don't necessarily recommend washing this. Uh, you have got the instructions on the top here. I'll just show you that. So what it's doing is it's just recommending to empty it, take the filter out, uh, but don't necessarily wash it. Now, I suppose what I'm quite an advocate of keeping uh, things clean uh, when it comes to especially vacuum cleaners. I just generally think the if you can maintain it well, if you can look after it, then first of all, the performance will be a lot better. Also, if you clean the filters, then you will find that things like the motor will last longer uh, and also the pickup ability is a lot better. So with the filter, uh, you do actually get a spare one with it as well. Um, when it comes to changing the filter, you can just take that one out and then pop the spare one in there. So that's, that's really easy. That just slots in there. But as far as the rest of the bin, then you can wash that if you want to. And then when it comes to putting it back together, that just slots back in there. And then to pop this back into the vacuum, all you do is you just drop that in. Uh, you have also got the uh, a main on and off switch in here. And what it's doing is it, it just say that you can schedule a daily clean to keep your home dirt free. Uh, if it's not going to be used for a while, then I suppose it's recommending to switch it off. Uh, but if it's something you are going to use quite often, then they recommend keeping the main power switch in the on position. While talking about cleaning and maintaining the vacuum, you do get this little brush that's within the, the charging dock of the vacuum. And what this is designed to do, that's just designed to help you, I suppose, clean around the vacuum, clean the bin. Uh, also, you've got this little section here, and that's really designed if, if you get hair wrapped around the brushes. So I'll just show you one of these. So if you've got hair wrapped around these, you can just help by getting rid of it, by just using that's like a, a little blade in there, and you can just help to get rid of the hair that's wrapped around the bristles. Something else that comes with the vacuum as well is one of these. This is a mop, and what this is designed to do is to sit underneath. I'll just show you this. So you, you just clip that on like that, and it has a mopping function. So all you do is you would get this wet to start with, so you just um, just basically put it under water, um, not while it's on the vacuum, you do it before you clip it on. And then what it will do is it will actually mop the floor for you. Uh, I must admit, I'm, I am going to give this a go. Uh, but you do also get a spare mop as well. So Lafont have thought about this, so as well as providing us with a, a spare mop, we've also got a couple of spare brushes as well. When it comes to the app itself, it's something I'd really recommend downloading because there's quite a lot of information that it gives you as far as the status of the vacuum. So once you've downloaded it and got it set up, this is what it will look like. Uh, hopefully you can see this. So I've got the LaFont M210. So once you press the button, then this is going to access the information on here. Uh, so at the moment, you can see that it's it shows the remaining charge of the vacuum. So it's 46% charged. Now, when I first got it, uh, it didn't have a huge amount of charge in it, the same with any cordless vacuum, uh, so I had to give it a bit of a charge. Uh, to get to 46% or around halfway, it only took, I'd say, just under an hour, uh, but it will also give you quite a lot of information, and really what I want to do is to give it a go now, uh, because there's, there's quite a few options you can select on here. Uh, I suppose one of the main ones is going to be the automatic cleaning, so what that will do, that will just go around the room, not necessarily in a certain direction. So it's, it's probably a little bit random, uh, but what it's designed to do is to go around the room and actually uh, almost navigate around and it will clean the whole room for you. There are quite a few other options, uh, but I think what I want to do is I want to sort of get it on the floor and let's give it a go. So to set the vacuum going, a couple of options. You can either just press the button that's on top of it or if you did want to, then you can just set it going via your phone or tablet. So all I've done is I've pressed the automatic cleaning. Uh, to be fair, that's, that's just hit the, the stand of the, uh, the camera. That's why it just shook a little bit. But as you can see, what this is going to do, this is just going to navigate around the area that it's vacuuming. 
Um, of course, the, the advantage with the, the bristles around the side is that what it will do is it can get under, uh, say, cupboards, or if it's going under the bed, then it's still got that ability. And as you can see on here, what it's doing is it's actually navigating around the room and it's actually almost drawing a pattern as to the shape of the room. And personally, I think this is absolutely fantastic. So in the end, once it's finished, you should have a whole shape of your room on there and where it's vacuumed. Uh, if you want to, then at this stage you can stop it. So if you were to press the, the standby button, um, hopefully you can see this on here. Uh, you've also got, so clearly it's showing the, the remaining electricity is 44%, so it's, it's used a little bit. Uh, the, the actual cleaning time so far, is, I mean it's only, only been on for one minute. Uh, and what it does, it, it shows you the cleaning area as well. Uh, what you have got is you have got the option, uh, I'll show you that in a moment because I've not actually got the charger on the floor, that's the recharge option. So you have got random and what this will do is that will just go off in, in any direction, uh, not necessarily to clean all over the floor. You have got edge cleaning. So as you can see here, this is just working around the edge of the room. Um, so this can be really good. Uh, I suppose for example right here, this, this is in the kitchen. Uh, so this is getting under the, the cabinet door, which is always brilliant because to be fair, it's always really difficult to, to keep these clean. Uh, so that's one of the options. So the next option you can select is something called fixed point cleaning. Um, and what this will do, if you have got a certain area um, say either in your kitchen or in your lounge uh, that needs a really good clean then that's really the option to use. Uh, so what it is, I'll just pop some rice down so let's just see how well it does with this. Uh, but I suppose this is quite a good example uh, we've got a couple of kids at home and they're always dropping things so what I'll do is if we select the fixed point cleaning on here so if I press that button and what this is going to do, this is going to work in a circular motion to get everything up. And I think these are brilliant because it, it's quite hypnotic to watch. Uh, what you'll find is that it, as it says, it's working in like a spiral pattern. Um, and it's sucking everything up as it's in its path. And the next option we've got on here is called manual mode. Uh, now personally I think this is a brilliant idea. Um, when I was younger I was always into my remote control cars and I suppose this is almost reliving my youth. So what you can do is once you select manual mode it gives you uh, like a, a remote control on here. It gives you the option to, as it says, control it manually. Um, if you press that and um, you just rotate it and go forward so I must admit it's probably not something you would use to actually vacuum the floor but I must admit for me that is a huge amount of fun and that's all within the app itself. So as you can see what I've done is I've moved it to a different area of the house now this is a carpeted area uh, but really what I want to do is to show you well a couple of other options uh, so the first one is called a cliff sensor uh, now, to be fair, a lot of robotic vacuums have this technology, uh, but the, the main idea is that it's designed so that if you get to, I suppose, to the, near the edge of the stairs, then it's not going to fall off, because there's nothing worse than spending all this money on, um, on a robotic vacuum like this, and then at the first chance it falls down the stairs and then breaks. So what I've done is I've just popped it into, into manual mode. So if you just get it to go forward, and as you can see, I've, I'm not doing anything, so all I've done is I've, I'm trying to get it to go forward, but this is intelligent enough to know that it shouldn't carry on going. So that was the first thing to show you. Uh, the next option, uh, just on the right hand side here, so as you can see I've got the, the charging dock. Uh, now you have got another option on the app, and this is called recharge. And if you press that, then what it will do is that will stop the vacuuming process and what it will do is it will actually work its way over to the dock so as you can see that the light on the top has changed it's gone to a, a purple color now but 
uh, to be fair, it does normally take a moment to uh, sort of reinitialize, but what it's doing is it's working its way over to the dock. Uh, this will do it automatically anyway. So if you're on a vacuum in, if you've, if you've walked away, then what it will do is it will work over to the dock. And then, as you can see on the top there, hopefully you can see that the, the light is shining. That basically means it's docked and it's charging now. Now, something else this vacuum has got, and I missed admit, I love this part. Um, I do love my tech, and this has got uh, voice control on it. So if you do use Alexa or Google Assistant, then you can actually set the vacuum to go. So at home, we use Google Assistant. So I'll, I have set this up. Um, I mean, if you, if you use Google Home, then all you do is you set it up via the Google Home. You link it up to the app that you've got. Um, I won't show you the process, because to be fair, it's, uh, it's quite a simple process. Um, I suppose if you have got other devices, uh, things like your heating or lighting, then it's no different to setting this up as well. Uh, but I'll just give you a demonstration of this. Hey Google, vacuum. So what I've done is I've actually set this up to be named as vacuum. So hopefully you could hear in the background that the Google Assistant uh, has enabled the vacuum to go. And clearly I've, I've only just got a small area here but what it would normally do is it would run the vacuum around the whole room. So again, I love that. So for this next demonstration, I just wanted to show you the mopping function. So all I've done is I've got the mop and I've stuck it under water for a moment just to make sure it's uh, saturated. Uh, so it's not a huge amount of water on there, but it's just enough to make sure it's all completely wet. And as far as putting it on the vacuum itself, uh, I did show you earlier, but I'll just show you again. So that just clips on there. And then all you do is you pop it on the on the floor and I know I did say you can start it via the app and I've showed you that but uh, if you want to get it going by just pressing the on and off button then you just press that and now what that will do is that will work around and as well as vacuuming because it's got the mop towards the back of the vacuum then what it will do is it will actually vacuum and mop at the same time so an excellent idea so it's just really to know that although I show you the mopping function, uh, the vacuum itself isn't designed to vacuum up liquids or any spillages. Uh, this is really designed, I suppose, as, as I showed you, that's running towards the back of the vacuum, the mop. Uh, so what you don't want to do is you don't want to get any liquid within the vacuum. Uh, I don't want people to be under the impression that you can get water in it, because if you do get water in it, then there's a good chance that you will damage it, and that won't be covered under the manufacturer's warranty. So I must admit, over the years, I did mention earlier that we have been selling robotic vacuums within a store. Uh, and I must admit, originally, some of the performance of the other models I haven't been hugely impressed with. Also with things like the bin capacity, they have been quite small. So you are forever emptying it. Uh, and what you can find is that when you, if you've been out for the day and if you come back and either if the vacuum has gone back to the dock and it's not fully cleaned the room because of the small bin, that can be quite annoying. Uh, so overall, I hadn't been impressed with the other brands, but with this one, the Lafont M210, I am really, really impressed. Uh, I have to, uh, although I've not recorded it, um, I have had this running around the kitchen and the lounge, and it has done a fantastic job, and I have had to empty the bin only once, uh, which is always a good sign. So I suppose the question arises when you're looking at buying, I suppose, any robotic vacuum, is that what kind of customer will buy this kind of product? And I must say, there isn't a certain generic type of customer that's going to buy it. Uh, clearly, if you struggle to hold a vacuum, uh, if you've got things like arthritis, and if you struggle to hold things properly, then this is definitely something to consider. Um, also, if you're a busy person, so if you're always running about, if you've got the kids, and if you're busy working, then again, this is the kind of product for you, because this will save you time. What it also does, and I must admit, we did find as well, uh, that when you have got this kind of product, it does encourage you to tidy up as well, because if you've got things on the floor, then it will work around those, but if you tied it up, then that's certainly a good incentive to do it properly. But if you've been impressed as I am with this, and if you are considering purchasing one of these, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Lafont M210 Robotic Vacuum Cleaner. Please give us a thumbs up on my YouTube channel, leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, about the video itself. 
I'm sure there might be things that you might be thinking, well, he's, he's missed to mention that. He, he didn't mention it, so yeah, a little bit disappointed. If I have missed something, then just pop it in the comments. Uh, if you've got any questions on the vacuum, then again, pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have got one of these models or any of the LaFont robotic vacuums, then let me know what you think about it. Be honest, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Anyway, I've really enjoyed doing this video. It's almost a combining passion of mine with things like vacuum cleaners, a bit of tech in there with the Google as well. But anyway, thanks for watching.